Okay, let me discuss the different problems with the same principle what we are earlier will lend. So what has been given here? Top U of a line measures 70 mm. The line is parallel to VP and inclined 40 degrees to the HP. One of its end point is in HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections and find the true length of that one. If you are how much carefully read the problem and first try to understand what is interested in to find in the problem. So then you have to just whatever your land concepts you have to correlate it. Then you can easy. By reading the problem itself, it seems a little hard. So once you are taking all the information given with the known facts of your concepts, then you can easily understand and you can try to find the solution. Here what is asking? Instead of the line length, in the, all the previous problems, we take in a line length and we are just examining each different case of the situation. Instead of the line length, you are given top view of your line measures 70 mm. That means the line of X length, which has the top view of the 70 mm. That means he given his the top view length as 70 mm. The line is parallel to VP and inclined 40 degrees to HP. One of its end point is in HP and 20 mm in front of VP. Draw the projections and find the true inclination. So very clear cut here. You know that front view is the details of horizontal plane. Top view is the details of vertical plane. You have to take consideration then you can easily get the solution remaining parts. So first as usual for any solution represent we need xy line to be represented. So let I am drawing the xy line indefinite length to represent references. Now let this is x and this is y. We are following the first quadrant projection only as per the first angle projection the above is the area of vertical plane. Below of the line is area of the horizontal plane. In the vertical plane you have to make sure that this is the area of front view. Where are the details of HP? In HP on horizontal plane, the projection on horizontal plane is the top view. So this is the area of the top view concern the details of vertical plane. That you have to keep in mind. If you are strong in those points, you can easily attempt the solution. Just read the problem and try to observe what the things has been given. Top view of a line measures 70 mm. Let me top view to be drawn in HP, you are just concluded that of that where I have to draw the top view. So that it is a parallel to VP. The measures are 70 mm. So you have to draw the top view as a 70 mm length. In what direction? Is a given one more point. The line is parallel to VP. Where you will get the vertical plane details in top view given line length as well as the condition. So which take the parallel. But where I have to draw parallel? Here or here or here. So that, that further read the problem. So and inclines 40 degrees to HP. Parallel to VP. The line is parallel to VP and inclined 40 degrees to the HP. One of the its end point is in HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So being the top view measurement given, you have to draw the 70 mm and parallel to VP at a distance of 20 mm. So all the details are now you are able to get the sincerely you have to transform those points. Being it is 20 mm in front, measure 20 mm in front. The since it is given 70 mm length, so draw the 70 mm length here. Now we are represented for a given line, it is the top you will draw. So just name points of the is not given. You can assume any, suppose it may be P, then you can find the Q. So top you are represented of 70 mm with parallel and with 20 mm in front. The details completed. So now we are to move for the other view. What the other view? Front view to be wrong. We know the fundamentally, the P is here mean P dash must be on this line only. So based on the fundamental concept, the P point, that is the front view top view always in the same line. Once you are located in the point P top view, so where the front view could be, the front view must be in this line in this line somewhere. So for that one you read the any information is available end condition. Its end point is in HP. The front view is details of the horizontal plane. So clearly is the given details of HP. There is no above distance. So you are getting the P point here itself. This is a P dash. Now I have to represent Q dash. We know that Q dash must be in the line of Q. Okay, as a fundamental concept what we grasp and lend so far from the problem. It must be in this line somewhere but where it locate q dash here or here or here or how to locate so for that one any things we may help require here so what the other condition we can take we know that front view is details of horizontal plane so now observe the any further horizontal plane details inclined at 40 degrees to the hp okay the clearly given the inclination of 40 degrees with hp so q dash must be on the line from the p dash the line has to make 40 degrees so to draw the angular line so take the protractor just align at the 
reference point then in the direction of 40 degrees. This is the 40 degrees. Now after identifying the angular direction, just connect the P dash until it meets the line from Q. So now this point represents the Q dash. So now this is the given angle of 40 degrees. Now check here. All the conditions. Top view of your line measures 70 mm. Withdrawn it is of 70 mm. The line is parallel to VP. The VP details are top view. So withdrawn parallel. And 40 degrees. Inclined 40 degrees. One of the end point is in HP. One of the end point is in HP. 20 mm in front of VP. 20 mm in front of VP. All the information is satisfied. So once you are able to project the views, then you have to answer the remaining question. Draw the projections. Projections mean you draw in front view as well as top view. Of that is asking find the true length of the line. The line length is not known here. The length given is top view length. You have to measure the length and that will be the answer. So what you are able to get here? 95 mm. So 94 mm you are getting. The show that by the dimension line. So now I want to show the dimension line. Just from the extension line, the line length you are getting as 94 mm. So you will find the answer. So what has been given? Here the remaining dimension, what has been given from the problem, also try to show. 20 mm has been given. Next similarly is also mentioned top view length. also you have to show but because what has been given in the problem you must show the dimension part then only you can finish your answer the 70 mm given 70 mm. everything is available so now measure to true length you can conclude the answer also besides the show the dimension if you can represent the same as a, the true length measure as what the value are getting 94 mm this is the answer required. So once you are strong in the fundamental concepts, the problem, the direct way or indirect way in the reverse also they ask, we can just find the solution very conveniently. So for the need you have to know all the fundamental concepts. So then only you can attempt whatever the problem may be given, we can just draw the solution comfortably.